Hello and welcome to my presentation entitled Pepper as a Partner in Education. I will proceed as follows. First, we will look at the role of robots in education and will see that there are at least two options. We then have to think about possible scenarios of teaching and learning where we can use robots in a beneficial way. And finally, I would like to introduce you to our robot applications culminating in what we call classroom packages. Okay, let's start with the roles of robots in modern education. The first role can be defined as the tool function where robots are used to understand and train the principles of a modern digital world. On the image in the middle, you see a snapshot from our Roboticum, where high school students sharpen their algorithmic thinking by developing programs and behaviors for now robots. The second function uses humanoid robots as partners in the classroom where they assist humans in many ways and this function constitutes the focus of my presentation but where exactly can they assist can they help us in lecturing can they support students in doing their homework or what about online learning can we use them there is it perhaps possible to use them in class? And what about electronic or even traditional forms of testing? And last but not least, can they be used for general assistance and support in the process of teaching and learning? Well, as we will see, not all of these options are unrestrictedly useful, but some of them can be of enormous help. Actual images of these scenarios can be found here. Yet, these robot applications require specific teaching and learning formats. So, let's look at these first. In traditional formats, content delivery is carried out in class where a lecturer stands in front of his audience and delivers content at one time at one place and the students have to follow him as well as possible. This is followed by a phase of deepening, traditionally referred to as homework, where the students have to work on their own. Could we use a humanoid robot in such a setting? Two aspects create an obstacle. There's only little digital data for further assessments of student behavior and there is little time for other activities in such a setting. Even live voting, which can well be robot controlled, would perhaps take too much time off the clock needed for content delivery. So there's only one remaining question. Is it perhaps possible to use a humanoid robot as a lecturer for content delivery. Well, we tested that in a master degree project and found out that even with additional actions such as tablet support or emotional behaviors, the results were all equally bad. At present, robots cannot be used as lecturers. And it is doubtful that they will, even if they are geminoids, such as the one presented here. Currently, they all lack what I would refer to as the filtering function that would allow them to identify and address individuals in a larger audience. In summary, we can conclude that in current traditional formats, humanoid robots do not generate any significant sort of benefit. But what about digital teaching and learning? with its collaborative character, where content delivery is now online, content deepening 
takes place in class and online tests allow the students to show mastery? Well, in such scenarios we have several options to integrate humanoid robots. For example, we can use humanoid robots as assistants. We could use them as specialized info points. We could analyze digital student data and turn robots into student advisors. Or we could make them oral examiners in specific situations. As shown in our project HART, these options can be converted into highly contextualized, clearly modularized educational robot apps for example, into apps that can ask questions via live voting or via LMS internal databases. Or apps that use student data and turn the robot into a student advisor or an oral examiner. Let us look at the student advisor app to find out how such an app works. The student advisor app can be launched via the robot's tablet. Now the student has two options. The class option, via which general information about the class can be retrieved. And the individual option, where students can enter into a private dialogue about their class achievements. A click on individual allows the student to contact the robot using their private QR code. Let me see your QR code. A code which can be retrieved from the platform via a simple click. OK, I have your QR code. Processing the code. Hello, Anja. This is the class Introduction to Linguistics, Part 2. I've had a look at your worksheet submissions. There are some worksheets you haven't done. I'll show them to you on my tablet screen. 50% of the worksheets haven't been done. In the individual option, standard dialogues are also possible. When is the next office hour? The date of the next office hour is July 4th, 2018, 11.30. Thank you. This application terminates. Most promising, however, are our classroom packages. These bundle several in-class activities and thus several single apps into one complex package as a cumulative app via which the robot controls all classroom activities for a longer period of time. The advantage of such classroom packages is the administration of all organizational activities by the robot which, with its interaction options, controls these activities as emotionally as possible and thus gives the human coach time for a more intensive and individualized supervision of the learners. The preparation of a classroom package is simple. Via a front-end the coach loads the required data onto the robot and activates the robot in class via sensors, spoken triggers or via a mobile device. Then the robot will act autonomously and carry out the predefined activities within the predefined time slots. Our first classroom package is referred to as UReply Plus. It is administered via the UReply platform of the Chinese University of Hong Kong, filled online with the required data and can be used on Pepper robots all over the world. The development of such classroom packages and a sustainable transfer to other disciplines than ours will be our focus from now on and if anyone can assist us we would be very grateful. But let me emphasize once more, the prerequisite for any classroom package is a digital teaching and learning format with a competence oriented in class phase and a human coach who is ready to accept the new role 
as a guide on the side. Even a guide on the side as an assistant to a robot. Thanks for your attention.